ADA charts on the short term, a kind of an indecisive, weird little area as it's been making some moves. I want to dig into what this means on the six hour, what is next. And we're going to tie in the weekly chart to actually give us guidance to that six hour chart that we see here. All the while, we have a daily occurrence, a daily candle occurrence that just happened that I'm extremely excited about. I want to break that down. So hit that subscribe, hit the like, and let's just jump into the video. And by the way, everybody, at the end of this video, I have a a little special mystery announcement I just want to just throw out there to you if you're in the Cardano community. So stick around for that as well. But this is ADA on the daily chart. This move right here, obviously it's nice. ADA's making a move. People will notice that. But it's this exact daily candle move that to me personally is monumental. This is so meaningful. And if many have been watching my technical analysis, you might know why. This is a higher high. This is something I've been waiting for. And it's not this swing high that I've been waiting for ADA to break. I mean, that actually did that the previous daily candle. What I've been tracking is this, this swing high. This was that last big lower high before ADA kind of capitulated in the bear market. And right now, this picture, which is also an inverse head and shoulders with a 70 cent target. We're going to look at that in a minute. But this picture, this is the pivot from bear to bull. This is what over and over again, I said that I am anticipating the picture of it, how is it going to play out? This is what it's looking like. You go to a weekly chart and you really start getting a sense of, man, this is looking like a pivot from bear market to bull market. And so this is a meaningful move. It, when we're looking at ADA, this swing high, it's a higher high. Now that might not come or might, that might come with downside retracements kind of coming back down even, even below this previous swing high. But we're going to talk about that. But that's a big move, and I just wanted to point that out. Let's, let's look at the structure that's happening right now. Rising channel, it has been in a really nice move since like March 11th or so, higher highs, higher lows. One thing I really just want to point out, if we're looking at um, the daily, if we go to the daily momentum oscillator, this is really important to point out as well. While we're having, and here it is on the daily, the channel of higher highs and higher lows, we're just getting really nice structure on the daily RSI. There's no bearish divergence. There's nothing weird happening there. That's a big deal to me. So I wanted to point that out because that is to say there's room for ADA to continue to the upside. We could get a breakout out of the upside of this rising channel, target to the upside 55 cents. Now that's not guaranteed, obviously. That's why we have structure setups. That's why we track it and, and we wait to see, but that's the target to the upside. And things like momentum oscillators are kind of indicators that just say, it's looking like that could be possible as opposed to some bearish divergence or something on that daily chart. And it's looking like momentum might really be against the bulls making a move like that. Right now, it's on my radar that ADA could actually keep going. That might not come without a, a retrace to the lower trend line. So keep in mind, that's right around 40 cents, 40 and a half cents or so. To the downside price range wise, we're looking at around 7 to 8% dip for ADA just to get to the trend line, meaning nothing out of the ordinary no bearish break or anything, but ADA could dip back to 40 cents and just be continuing the structure that we have here on the screen, higher highs and higher lows. If that doesn't happen, ADA could just continue to upside. The area to, to watch would be this area, the upper trend line area around 45 cents, 45 and a half cents or so. And so that's that breakout target to the upside. We want to see ADA break through that uh, and get some, get some separation from that area. Now, what I want to discuss is how the weekly ties into this because the weekly gives so many clues to this chart and it also gives clues to how bullish ADA looks right now. If we go to a weekly, I want to point something out. Notice how ADA on the weekly is, is right now breaking above the 50-week moving average and that's a really big move. Two days left to see if ADA gets the close above the 50-week moving average, that blue line. If we're looking at this chart, ADA has not closed above that blue line, the 50-week day, 50 week moving average since November 2021. And that was, the, that was after the bull market top. So this was in a downtrend. The last time ADA actually made a move similar to how it's making right now was back here in May of 2020. That's the last time we're getting a move like this. This hasn't happened in years. So we're definitely going to track this over the next two days. But notice something else. It's the setup of the 20-week moving average to cross above the 50-week. It is kind of just in between these two moving averages on the weekly. We compare that to 2020, 
And we see right back here in April 2020 also kind of consolidating between these moving averages. You can even see this one week, actually pretty much every week, pretty volatile, but kind of above the 50 week on that weekly uh, wick that you see there. And then all the way back, to, all the way down to the 20 week, very volatile week for ADA. Notice where ADA was on the RSI, this, this slower moving momentum oscillator as it was doing that, as it was getting ready to make a move to the upside, as the 20 week was getting ready to cross above the 50 week, ADA right around here on this slower moving momentum oscillator, like 55, 56 on the chart. We go over to where ADA is right now as the same exact type of move is setting up. Where's ADA? Right around 55, 56 on this, on this RSI, the momentum oscillator. That's really notable because this is really starting to give us a, a sense of where ADA is in the cycle. It's not just looking at the picture and saying, hey, it looks similar, but it's also grabbing these different indicators and saying, hey, they're set up the same too, namely this RSI area right here. And then also just where ADA was price range wise, moving average wise, all set up to be the same. Let's pivot to the six hour and talk about the short term move for ADA. Remember, when ADA was in between these moving averages, there was volatility down to the 20 week moving average, meaning there could be volatility right now down to the 20 week moving average. We're looking at around 34 and a half cents or so. We go to the six hour. Uh, what do we have? We have a target to the downside of around 34 cents, right around that 20 week moving average. So that's in play from a volatility perspective. ADA could just fall. Like it just could happen. But it doesn't mean that we're entering some bear market or something. It, this is just normal consolidation. So from where it is right now to the lower trend line, 7 to 8%, but to the real breakout target of around 33 to 34 cents, right around 22% to the downside. It's in play for ADA. But we've already identified the fact that on this chart, there's still room for upside for ADA. Meaning if we go to the momentum oscillator, for instance, obviously we, we see how there's just no bearish divergence right here in this channel for ADA. But we also just see ADA is consolidating as it's been doing throughout this higher, high, higher, low consolidation to the upside. And it could continue a little bit more. There's room to the upside in terms of ADA and ADA momentum. ADA is like just about to fall out of overbought territory uh, on this RSI. So that's a really big deal. This is what I'm watching. You know, I like to watch the short term charts, kind of track even shorter term consolidation if ADA is going to fall right now. I like to be prepared for these areas right now, that support area around 40, 40 cents or so. But I like to track the short term because it's, it's the short term that truly starts tying into these bigger patterns and these bigger things that we're tracking. Namely, many of you are, are very well aware of inverse head and shoulders with a 70 cent target. I mean, that's my target. And we have the falling wedge with the 70 cent target as well. And everything we're seeing play out right here, everything we saw play out all the way back here in the retracement ties into these, these targets. These are longer term targets. So they take a while and there's a ton of volatility along the way, meaning we already saw a move to the upside of the breakout, 32% to the upside. And then after the 32% rally, ADA starts falling. But look how looking back, it wasn't bearish. It wasn't ADA falling into some bear market or something. It was a 27% dip before the next leg up, before ADA does something from a multi-cycle, multi-year perspective. It's very bullish, a higher high on this chart. And so we're, we're, we're prepped, we're ready, or at least I am. As a, This is me tracking my journey, everybody. But I'm ready for downside if it comes. But I do realize ADA has some momentum behind it. And I could see another leg up for it. We know the target 55 cents to the upside. And that's what I'll be watching, everybody. Let me know your thoughts. I want to I, I want to give a shout out to this project. I know the team behind it. This isn't sponsored. They're not paying me. They reached out to me. Incredibly impressive team that is building in Cardano. They have this, this project. It's a mystery project. And uh, they have a free mint, a free NFT mint tomorrow. We're underground movement spawned by rebelling against boring old ideas. We didn't come to start to sit still and be quiet. We came to start a riot. Put your email or I'm going to put a link in the description. Get on their email list and follow them on Twitter. There's a free mint tomorrow for what they're doing. It's, it's a faction enlistment begins tomorrow. So follow this project. I can just tell you again, this isn't sponsored, but I do know the team and 
they're just builders, everybody. And it's a team that you want to support. And uh, if you're in Cardano, I think it's of interest. So, so go support them, go sign up and have some fun with what they're building. So appreciate each and every one of you cruising by. Hit the subscribe for me. Hit the like. Let's see what Ada does. That move to the upside, 100% in play. But again, we're going to track this consolidation and wait for any type of confirmation at 45 cents, this upper trend line, and support down here at 40 cents or so. I really appreciate you. Have an awesome weekend. God bless.